Right, hello everyone again. So today we're at a little Vauxhall. It's a combo. I think it's called a combo combo B. Aye, it's a little van type thing. So it's there. So it's a crank no start. There was a plethora of codes in it, but the ones that keep reoccurring is this one here. The camshaft position sensor circuit high. Oh, I see it's not present at the moment, so. For just for demonstration purposes, I'll, I'll clear the codes and let you see this, so clear it. We'll see what comes back right away. There was other codes in this as well, but I'll put them in the edit. Raised, read codes. So you can see that EGR valve, I've got a code in that present, but... When I'm cranking it over, and if you look at the live date, I'm not getting any fuel pressure, so... I'll let you hear it. Oops. That's a crank. Uh, so read the codes again. Oh, it's actually never came back this time. The the camshaft sensor. I've actually got it pinned out. There it's there. Uh, the outer wire on this side is ground. I think that's purple. Then that other one's supply, so you can see there uh, I'm holding a good 5 volts. So I'll need to check the middle pin as well to see if I've got a, an output for that. But I'll, I'll let you see the live data first of all. Because I wasn't getting any pressure earlier on. So live data, data display. I was getting engine speed okay, but it was a uh, pressure. So it was these ones, common real pressure. Put it back in there. Right, we'll crank it over and we'll watch it. No any pressure at all. I know the other scan tool gives you a camshaft signal, but this one doesn't seem to give you that. Yeah, a PID display for the camshaft, so let's read codes again. So there it came back, so... <coughs> you can see I've got the trusty old Veris connected there. And uh, if we go back in it... We'll, we'll hit... Oh dear. I've never used it for such a long time. Things playing up. Oh dear. I think uh, I think a reboot. There we go. I'll go back. I'll come back to you once I get this sorted out. Well, <coughs> the old Veris just stopped working. It's never been used for that long, so I don't know. I was trying to use another external mouse on it. It's still windy work, so I haven't a clue what's wrong with it, so we just went back to the multimeter. So you can see that I'm into my ground wire, and I'm also into my middle pin, which is like a salmon pink colour. There it's there. So we should be getting 5 volts and then going to ground as the camshaft sensor passes by. So, I'll let you see my multimeter. So you can see the lobe is up, so the voltage is low. It's one of these bad days today. So I'll crank the car over and you can see that voltage fluctuates. I think you can see that mate. We'll just blip the th we'll blip, blip the key here. So there you go. Up to five volts, so we must be away for the low. So you can see that sensor's working fine, so uh, what it's no like about that, I don't know. I can't scope the thing. Well, let's see, escape. Read codes. Oh, seeing that one's no present anymore. So erase the codes. Okay. 
Very good. So that's only when it's present. Let's cycle the key. There we go, that's the key. That's it, the computer finally powered down. Put that up there. Put the key back on. And we'll crank the thing over. And you can see that's working fine. Let's see about that. We get a. Hmm. It's never came back this time. I'll give it a little clean. Maybe that's. So let's go into live data. Data display. Data list. So you can see when we crank over. See that fuel pump really? You can see that goes active. So that, that means that the, the mobiliser's no kicking in, so I've had that one before. Let's go back to... Uh, let's see if common real pressure. Ah, uh, these figures are no moving, it's got the real control valve stuck at 62%. I wonder if there's diesel in this thing. This is confusing. I'll get back to you when I figure this one out. So, <laughs> I'm chasing camshaft sens sensors. I knew it was a bad day, although you did see a decode. And I'm looking about, so this is as important as the visual inspecting. I see diesel building up here. I was like, what the hang is going on? Well, that injector there was loose. So who has ever been at this before, they, I think, tried to bleed it, maybe. So that's always a bad idea in a common rail. Don't try bother trying to bleed them. Just leave them as and crank them. But, uh, so that injector was slack, so I just tightened that up. And you can see that the car now starts, but I'm wondering if there is maybe a problem with this camshaft sensor, so I'll let you see it. There's my... There's my meter there still. It's started. And you can see that that camshaft sensor is too quick for that meter. Uh, in fact, what we can do is hit minimum and maximum. I'll never catch that. Right, I'll put it on and just see what comes back. Goods. I think that EGR valve keeps coming back. There we go. So I think you'll need to keep an eye on that uh, camshaft sensor, but a leaking injector. Well, it wasn't a leaking injector. Oh, see this thing. If an injector that hadn't been tightened up, so that's that one. So cheers.